very much for being here. <laughs> no, sorry. Hold on a second. Hello everyone, welcome to the Messages of St. Anthony's. Today we have a special guest, it's Nathan. Welcome Nathan. Hello, thank you thank Father. You for, thank you for, for being here and um, yeah, giving us a bit of your time. You are in your workplace, as I can see. Um, mm -hmm. Nathan, tell us who you are. Who am I? Okay, well, um, my name is Nathan. I was born and raised in Sydney, Australia. But I've been living and working and worshipping in Forest Gate since 2016. I'm the music teacher at St Anthony's Catholic Primary School, just down the road from the parish. Um, but most of you may know me as the guy that sits behind the keyboard every Sunday. Yes, indeed. We do know you like this, that's true. You are very committed for the, you know, enhancing the beauty of our celebrations through music and singing. Um, Nathan, why? Do you do this? Why do I do this? Um, well, I guess so far because no one's told me to stop. <laughs> Good reason. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but otherwise, I mean, I've been playing in church every Sunday since I was a boy. So I guess I've been doing it for more than 20 years now. And yeah, it gives me a lot of joy to be able to share this gift and blessing of music with um, our community here at St. Anthony's. Especially when you know when you know you've got the Holy Spirit um, powering you through everything, um, then there's there's no need to be tired. <laughs> That's impressive, beautiful, really. Because yeah, sometimes you have you know like two or three celebrations in a row. But yeah, that's really thank you very much, really, for that. Speaking of music again, what's the what's the blessing of music? What would you say? What's the, for your life maybe, but also in general? Why is music such a gift? Uh, that's a really big question. But um, for me, I think music is a very powerful tool. It helps us to focus, helps us to reflect. Um, it gives us the opportunity to sing out loud or to meditate quietly. It helps to motivate, helps to energize, and it can compel us to move and to dance. Um, a lot of people think of music as a universal language. And so it's something that can be experienced together, regardless of what language you speak or what background you come from. Um, and it can really build a sense of unity between friends or complete strangers. Wow, that's, that's powerful. Thank you. Okay, Nathan, so this question was quite large, but the, the next one is even larger. Um, what's the advice you could give to people, to our friends and parishioners, and to everyone, in order to live better or to live a happier life, what would come to your mind? Um, I think uh, first and foremost is to accept that the only things in life you can control are your thoughts and your actions. To believe that you can control anything else is just silliness. Um, I, I always remind myself that every moment is a drop in the ocean of eternity and each drop is you can only experience once. Um, especially in the kind of societies that we live in today, it's easy to grow tired, it's easy to grow impatient with anything and everything. But um, I always remind myself of this verse from 2 Peter 3.8. Um, it says, but do not forget this one thing, dear friends, with the Lord a day is like a thousand years and a thousand years are like a day. I think a, a good dose of gratitude helps a lot as well um, in being able to recognize how much God loves you um, and how much God blesses you because it's, it's everywhere, but um, sometimes we're, we're just blinded to, to that fact. Very beautiful. Thank you very much. That's that's indeed a very deep wisdom of life. Thank you very much. Thank you for these words. Thank you for your yes presence and commitment and your time. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you also to all of hey. you. And my pleasure. Thank you, Father. Will, we will meet next time. God bless you all. Yep. See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> bye.